call out a customer and I guess they backed into one of those um, oh the, the thing for the dock the, the dock locks you back into it and uh, and it pushes like a lock like a lever or whatever well anyway I guess they uh, backed into it and uh, all kinds of stuff went bad so we got to call out see if we can weld this thing back together A lot of these intermodal chassis are just rust buckets and the metals on them is real super thin and fragile so we're gonna see what uh, what we can get done we're gonna beat and scrape and cut and you name what that's what's gonna happen so anyway we'll bring you guys along for this one it should be interesting
I'm not able to get my truck back behind this trailer to the point where it would be any beneficial use, so I'm just going to try to anchor to something see if I can bend that post back.
got it just about into the same position where it was. I got some gap right here. And then I gotta address this. Just try to smash that together. But in there I've got just about where it was lined up before. This has been this way for a while. You can see where it was only touching right here. Because it's real shiny right there and over here it ain't nothing. So that wasn't even touching. Which is probably why I failed to begin with. Because you only had a little bit. But on this deal here they're only wanting me to get it to the point where uh, it's feasible for it to get back put into the rail. Uh, you know just repairs being made. So I think as long as I'll weld it up real good. And again you see on this end here. <clears throat> right there that's the only place it was touching and over here back over here on the other side there wasn't nothing there it wasn't touching to begin with so I might try to pound that up a little bit more where it comes up but I can weld that right there um, I'll get a wire brush in there and, or a wire wheel and make it uh, clean so I can weld it up but I think that part right there is going to be good to weld and this right here I'll have to and I'm going to try to smash that down some more um, it's just when it moved it kind of warped it a little bit so I'll smash on a little bit more and see if I can get that gap to come out of there if I can get it close uh, I can put it in with some filler or what have you but Let's see if I can find me some. I've got a couple of thin pieces. I always keep a little bit of scrap metal around. I'm going to see if I can find some metal to come in here. I'm not going to be able to bend that down without cracking some more of this, and I don't want to mess with that. So I'm just going to find some filler metal, run it up in there, and weld it all together. Uh, I think it'll work fine, but this right here is good to weld. I'm just going to, I think I can melt that enough to where it'll come together real nice. And then I'll throw a few beads up there too, just to just to say we did. Same thing over here on the front, really. Just get it hot and melt it. So let's see what I can find up here in my box of tricks. Like I said, I'll probably just put some filler metal in there and just something close to that. 
there. I can just cut it and put it up in there. I think I got, I don't know if I got any flats. serious. Like I said, they're just wanting enough to make it where it'll get back in the rail okay without getting a... If they tear something up on them trailers or chassis, they usually get a fine and the rails, when they fix that stuff, it's unbelievably expensive because they can charge you to whatever they want. And they usually do it, you know, two or three months later and you're stuck with a bill or they make it where you can't get any more work. So it's probably better that he called me. I got the sniffles again today, so it's really nice. So that was my plan. I'm just gonna cut it up a little bit, and make it where it'll fill the gaps it's enough where I can apply a little bit of pressure. I'll put a clamp on there, and that should apply enough pressure on there. Maybe one over here in the back, and that'll that should make it where it'll close up real nice. Maybe at least legitimately put together. So, that's the plan.
painted up tomorrow and we'll kind of go from there and should be all right to Anyway, we're moving on to the next job. Well, first things first. So I don't get eaten alive. I have me some skid repellent. came back today to uh, put this is the truck we did that fan clutch on and we're here today to or tonight rather um, we're going to put, put on a uh, brake chamber that's what that thing's called I can't get it out of my freaking head
that way.
This truck here has a lot of air leaks. You had an airbag that was bad um, on the suspension, and then he had two. Both cabin airbags were rotted. They were both leaking. Uh, there would be enough where you could spray a little bit of water or uh, soapy water on there, and then um, you know it'd come about. Um, he's got this air chamber leak. The fan clutch was air leak. Had an air leak. The um, solenoid, the hose goes to the solenoid. I'll show you here in a minute. It also has an air leak. So with all these little air leaks, his truck can't build no air pressure. So I said, well, you got to start fixing these air leaks. You know, it, they were going to put an air compressor on. I said, nothing wrong with the air compressor. You just uh, you, you got to fix the air leaks. The air compressor is working fine. I don't know much. Some some don't like to go to the root of the problem. They just like to throw shit on it. Well, you do have to fix all your air leaks, that's for sure. I did it that way because this top part here is not going to unscrew willingly, it doesn't seem, so I'm just going to start making things worse. I just assume avoid the issue.
this type of deal, um, there's no need to uh, do any kind of uh, brake adjustment. All that, all you really need to do is make sure that this little lip here, uh, this little ring goes around evenly and where it's supposed to be. I've had one fly off on me one time and they're not very fun to deal with. So. But it's not leaking anymore, it was leaking at the top. Uh, so um, I knew that I had to change out the can. If it was out the front, it would have been just a diaphragm. But that's all for that.